Roads and paths may not be the most exciting thing, but they can make a village or an area look great. These aren't just simple roads. We're making roads that look good and are spawn-proof. How's that done? With some hidden lighting. So let's find out how we can do this. So welcome to Minecraft School. My name is JD and I'll be your teacher today. Our objectives are, number one, build two types of paths or roads with dirt and cobblestone. Number two, build village squares and a fountain. And three, install hidden lighting to prevent hostile mob spawns. When I say dirt and cobblestone for the roads, I mean that they're some of the main ingredients. For cobblestone, we'll be using it inside the village and dirt will be outside the village. But just keep this in mind that dirt is difficult to use when you are using it in a path because grass can spread. So we need to do something a little bit different, which involves using some gravel and dirt together. The paths outside the village are going to be fairly similar to this. We are not going to be using any granite though, but this is coarse dirt and coarse dirt is great for putting in paths. We are going to be using a lot of path blocks, but I want to make this look a little bit better and uh, I think I should probably sleep. And we need a lot of gravel, so I'm going to be finding any patches of gravel and just digging them up completely. We need it not only for the paths outside of the village, but we also need it for inside. So let's grab as much as we can. The easier pathway is the one outside the village, so we're going to start with that. But I'm going to be using a bit of a throwaway iron shovel for this. Uh, this has mending, but I don't have a very good source of XP yet. Uh, although we do have that uh, spider spawner way back in that direction, which we will eventually deal with. But start off here. We are going to be, well, I'd like to make a bit of a transition here. But uh, first of all, I just want to lay down our path, which is going to be not straight. No, no, we're not going straight at all. We want this path to be fairly curved. Get rid of this. And ah, uh, yes, should mention in 1.17, we can now put path blocks on dirt itself, which is absolutely wonderful. I love that. And yeah, let's keep going here. And I'm just going to dig this going all along the path that we've already laid out the diorite all the way over to there as well and then we'll come back and look at how to make this better looking there is in fact one thing i want to do here i want to take this down a bit simply because you don't want to have this little rise up on the on the road that, that's not very nice so we're gonna just smooth this out a little bit so you can go like this that is far better we have come to a bit of an obstacle. Best thing to do here is just fill this in. Really, just fill the whole thing in. If there's some uneven ground, usually along roads, you're going to have someone putting dirt down or digging through a hill, right? So definitely do that. So we can just continue making the path through here. And my shovel is about to break. It's time for the comment of the video. This is from Cobblestone B. Another great video. Also to answer your question, I prefer to manually farm, but I'd like to actually set up some auto farms for my hardcore world so that things can be a little safer for me to do. Ha ha. Uh, ha ha, indeed. Uh, of course, manual farms are great. I love the looks of them. So in the case of this world, all along here, we're going to have manual farms, and that's like wheat and vegetables and things like that. So that is going to look absolutely incredible. As for hardcore, yeah, it's probably a good idea to set up uh, auto farms. You can keep yourself safe. You don't have to be out gathering materials all the time. And yeah, that, that's probably a good idea. But thank you for the comment. Now, I have uh, done a lot of path making here. I'm not going to go all the way to the hill over there and I am not going all the way to the uh, the docks down there I've got some diorite still here but I just want to finish off this little bit here okay um 
that's nice. <laughs> I haven't seen one of these guys in a while. You know what? I am fully armed, so how about we do a little bit of this, huh? You guys wanna? You wanna go? You wanna go? You do you guys do realize that um I've got <laughs> I've got a base back here. You coming? You coming? You are. Good for you. All right, so uh, we're not doing raids yet, but I do want to get up in here so we have a bit of a an easier time fighting these guys. There we go. Let's get up here, and we can just fight them from the top of our walls, huh? Good idea. Well, where'd they go? Where'd he go? Are you down? Whoa, hold on, hold on. Where are you? That's what I'd like to know. Where is he? Ah, there you are. Gotcha. Uh, the rest are still back there. But anyways, um, I was I was meaning to do a little work over here with you. So it's part of the path. You can see I've roughly done the path going out here, mostly because, uh, well, it's not inside the village, but... Uh, Hey guys, why are you going away? They're going away. Oh well. But I need these guys out of here because I don't want them in the way while I am doing some digging and path making. Okay. I think those guys are moving off. I guess. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I should probably check and see if they've dropped anything, but I don't see anything that's unusual okay so as I was saying I did a little bit of work here I raised this path up so we have no more dip here and I cut out part of this hill and that of course is to make this a little bit of a smoother transition now this is where the gate is going to be going well I guess the towers and we're going to have a transition from the country pathway to the village roads in here. So let me just get this bit done and we can start texturing this. When we're texturing, we want to use some of this. I'm not going to use all of this, but uh, I want to make some coarse dirt. So let's just make a stack and I'll show you how we're going to place them. With our coarse dirt, we're going to be digging a few spots out and placing it. It doesn't have to be on the path itself. It's a good idea to put it on the sides, though. That'll make it uh, look like it's a little bit muddy in spots. And there we go. So just place them where you left these holes. You'll probably have to do a little bit of tweaking here and there to make it look a little bit better. And I think we have one there. Yeah, so you can also add a few other things. Uh, we will be doing something a little bit later that will add to this. But uh, I would love to do some work over there. But this guy is still there. Okay, I guess uh, it's time to get rid of him, huh? Goodbye. Next thing I'm doing is adding buttons. Now buttons are going to look like little rocks, so it'll make it look a little bit more interesting. I just can't put it on the path block itself, as that is not a full block. But just adding these around can make it look a little bit more interesting. Next, add some leaf blocks here and there, just to add a bit of uh, natural greenery. It looks a lot better that way. And little dips like this, I think. I think that looks better. So definitely try that out. And once you've done that, use some bone meal. Do some bone mealing around and you might get some extra leaves. Uh, some of these spots I'm, I'm fine with right now, but uh, I do want to add the leaves along here. So I'm going to get as much of this done as I can, have this looking all finished, and then we'll move on to the village itself. There's one thing I absolutely cannot forget about. Anywhere we have little step-ups like this, we need to put in some wooden planks. 
Uh, the color goes the best with uh, the path blocks, so it's going to make it so much easier. And we don't have to keep jumping all over the place, but that's really all we needed. And you know what? Sometimes you want to add little things like stones, like bigger stones standing up like this. And you can create, uh, that's not what I wanted to put there. Uh, so you can create some some features that look more interesting and I think that's too high but yeah just play around with the shapes and you can come up with something that's looking pretty interesting and yeah I think I want that there and maybe that there there we go sort of that's a little odd but eh, it's okay yeah so you can dot these all around and it does make it look a lot more interesting it's time for the pop quiz Number one, do you prefer to hide lighting or do you have torches everywhere? And number two, are your paths simple or do you like to add to them? Let me know in the comment section below. Now let's get started on the village roads. This is going to be a little bit more time consuming because you got to do a lot of digging now. Now uh, in a village that's in like a medieval village, most likely you're not going to have stone roads, but we are because we're rich. Um, but... <laughs> Yeah, usually you wouldn't have stone roads. You'd have a lot of dirt and mud. It, it's kind of gross. But um, we don't like how that looks. What we want is to make a nice cobblestone pathway system inside the villages. And we'll be mixing in a few other things. Now, I know you're thinking cobblestone. That's so basic. Well, yeah, think about it. Do you know what cobblestone usually is? It's usually used in pathways and roads. Have you ever seen them? I have. And this is even in modern cities I've seen them in. But yeah, this is a very common building material. Now, we're not going to be using just cobblestone, but I'm just going to get this little stretch done first. And now, when you come to steps like this, of course, put in slabs. It will definitely will be much easier on you. And, well, so far, it's looking fine. It's it's nothing amazing, but if we want to texture it, we've got some gravel. So I'm going to dig a little bit up, a little bit of the uh, cobblestone up. So we'll get some cobblestone back, right? And the gravel will make it look like it's been uh, crumbled a little bit. It's been used quite a bit. So this will give it a bit of an interest, a more interesting texture, I think. You could also add in andesite if you like, but I think this is fine. This is this is fairly simple. It looks nice. I think it looks perfectly fine. And then we're going to be getting on to this humongous area. We're going to have to lower some of this as well because we want the square to be on one level. No hill on the side. We're making a bit of progress on the main square here. Got a little transition here. I know this goes up and then down here, but that's fine. It creates a little bit of interest and in change in elevation. I like it like that. But we're just filling all of this in with cobblestone, and then we're going to do the same thing. Go through and put in some gravel around as well. The main square is done. Make sure that when you place the gravel or any other materials such as andesite and so on make sure that you're not spacing them out evenly there should be some spots that might be like this where there's extra gravel or extra andesite or extra whatever you're using it will look a lot more natural and a lot more worn i think but i'm going to get the rest of all of these roads done i don't need to show that to you because it's mostly the same thing be careful when you're in the mountains, because these things can come out. These are silverfish. They're they're actually not very difficult to beat, but uh, they are in infested stone in the mountains, uh, like that. So we've got a few of these here. You see, I ran out of cobblestone, so I am digging for some. Uh, I'm not sure how much infested stuff we'll get, but uh, who knows. Hopefully not too much. So I got the smaller square done. 
I am going to be putting a fountain in here, but first I need to join this up with that. But we have an issue. It's a hill here. So I think what's probably the best thing to do here is just make sure we've got a fairly straight line here because this is kind of going to be a gate. Yeah, so I think this should be fine. Just put in the cobblestone along here. And that should be going straight through the middle. Yeah. All right, so then we've got that. Put that in and just join this up. So I'm just going to have it gradually kind of flow into each other. And there we go. All right, so we just have one stretch left of cobblestone to put in right here. And then we can get on with our fountain. Our road network is pretty much done. It's looking a little bit rough, but please keep in mind that we still have to work on the buildings. A lot of what's going to be going on the sides here is going to change how this is going to look. I want a basic outline of what we're building right now. But probably our biggest uh, construction project, well, this was actually pretty big, but our main construction project for today is going to be a fountain. Now, this is a small area, so it's not going to be a big fancy one, but it'll be a fairly decent one, I think. The fountain is very simple to make. We're just going to find the center of this square. It doesn't really have to be perfect because, well, this is a small village. So uh, maybe, maybe around here. So I want to put a little tower in the middle. I'm going to use a stone brick wall. Let me see if I can get that in. No. Yeah, there we go. And chiseled stone brick, which will be tricky. Ha, there we go. All right. So we're going to make a border around this. I'm going to start on the corners. So chiseled stone brick here, chiseled here, chiseled here, and chiseled here. And from here, we'll be using stairs. So I want to put this upside down here and upside down here. So we'll do the same thing on all four sides. Now, this is a very simple design. It's Since it's a, a small square, I'm not going to be making a, a large fountain here. But you can make it as big as you want. And then we'll do right side upstairs here give it some interesting look on the outside so it's not all dull and boring you know and then top that off with slabs and the last thing we need to do let's see if i can get it up there without uh spilling the water anywhere uh no i'm gonna need my scaffolding here so grab my scaffolding let's put it here and just a single water bucket. And uh, there we go. Our finished fountain. And next we need to hide some lighting in the roads and paths. And what better way than using some wool. So as you can see, we've actually got quite a lot of wool. I'm not sure how much we're going to need. I'll take that. And just so you can see, we've got that much bamboo now. And we've got over a stack of sugarcane as well so we do need to make sure that this wool is not white because that'll just stick out really badly and so what we need are things like oxide daisies which give us a light gray dye I'm just gonna gather all these and something that you can do in bedrock edition but not Java is you can use some bone meal on flowers on single height flowers and you can grow more but as you can see i'm clicking on this it's not working but you can do this and you can grow more i don't need a corn flower i need oxide daisies so gather as many of these as you can and as they grew here naturally you might be able to get some ah Azure Bluettes also. Uh, they give you like gray dye. And the other thing we need is brown dye. So right over here, I replanted the cocoa beans. So we're just going to take all these so we can have a bunch of brown dye. So here's what we need to do. So first of all, you can just turn in, turn some of this into 
light gray dye this one as well okay so we have 14 here now i want to dye some wool i believe we can get that much just 14 out of that we might have to get more so using this we need to make our carpet like this and we got 21 now with our cocoa beans let's just use this we got some uh, brown dye here let's make some brown wool here there we go 17 of them which is kind of an odd number and brown carpet so here's what we do so here at our transition from country pathway to village road we're going to put in a couple of our lighting uh this won't be needed any longer because i'm going to put it right here so this is what we do you just make a hole put in a torch could be on the bottom doesn't matter and as this is the country road we need our brown carpets now the brown carpets will just fit right over top and unfortunately you are going to see a bit of this so it is sometimes a little bit better to have it surrounded by dirt that might work a lot a little bit better but usually you won't see anything unless you want to change it up but here it works a lot better so just dig a hole grab that put in your light and grab your light gray carpet light gray carpet goes a lot better so i think this fits so much better so I'm going to be filling in a lot of this. Now, I feel that it's it's more important to do it inside the village than on the pathways out there. I think with the pathways, we could do some other strategies like uh, light poles as well, but eh, it's, it's fine. Also, if you wanted to, you could make some green carpet, which might stand out here, unfortunately. Uh, you'd need cactus though and I have not found a single desert around here so that's not a possibility also I have not found moss yet now I would love to find some moss I think that would mean I'd have to go a little bit farther away and see if I can find some but um, moss carpets are amazing they work perfectly if you want to cover up lighting if you wish to use another form of lighting instead of torches, that's fine. I just didn't really want to go into the nether to get some glowstone. I also don't have a cleric, uh, which you can get glowstone from. Uh, but I think this is perfectly fine. Although sometimes you might see smoke, but it doesn't seem like you do. Okay, that's good. And this is how our map is looking so far. As you can see, these little spots, that's where I put the lighting. So you will see that on the map. I haven't done everything yet, but I'll do that probably a bit later. But that is about it. We have an update here. I think I'm going to actually post this uh, this map up on Twitter as well as my community tab and ask people to let me know what kind of buildings should go into each of these places. I already know what this one's going to be. I know what these two and this one are going to be. Looking around here, seeing all the roads in here, it's giving me a much better idea of how this is going to feel when it's done. I'm really liking this. Uh, also, I have an idea about what I want to build over there, but that tree is going to have to come down, unfortunately, even though I like that tree. Oh, oh well. And of course, this fountain. That just adds so much to one little spot here, doesn't it? It looks like we've got a lot of room for some stuff over here. So I'm just wondering what this building should be. And that's about it. I think it's time for your homework. So take a screenshot of your roads and paths and post it on my Discord server in the homework channel. If you like the video, then please give it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in joining Minecraft School, then please consider subscribing. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.